Hello everyone and welcome to another acoustic guitar lesson. My name is Roberto Della Vecchia and today I want to show you how to embellish a C chord using the C major scale, how to combine the C major scale and the C chord to come up with some cool voicings and embellishments, stuff that you can play at the jam that you can use to spice up your chord progression that is, it might be inspiring to write a song. Um, so first of all, we want to review the C major scale. I guess that everybody knows that already. So very quickly, this is the C major scale. So first note, second note, third note, fourth note, fifth note, sixth note, seventh note, and back to the root again. That's a C chord, C note again. If you keep going, this is one, this is the second note, this is the third, this is the fourth and the fifth note. Okay, so now we want to combine the C major scale and the C chord. And in order to do that, we will need to change the fingering a little bit. Sometimes we don't need to do anything because the note of the C major scale is already included in the C triad, okay? But sometimes we need to do very little movements with the left hand. So let's have a look, for example, if we take the second note of the C major scale, C, D, the open D, right? In order to include that note on my C chord, I need to lift the middle finger, just like that. And that's a nice, cool little chord, right? Could be a nice introduction. It's called C sus two or C sus second. Then, if we go to the third note, one, two, three, right? That's an E, but that's already in the C chord, so nothing new there. Let's go to the fourth note. F, right? One, two, three, four, F. Now I need to include that note in my C triad, so I might use my pinky to play that F note. And that's another cool voicing. This is called C sus4. Can resolve that down to a regular C chord and let's move on let's go to the fifth note one two three four five open G well that that's already in the C triad so nothing new and let's go to the sixth note one two three four five six okay this is an A this is a little more complicated because I that's my C chord, and I want to include that note on the third string. So my suggestion here is to go like this, like an A minor shape, and then you put your pinky here on the fifth string. And that's a little different, right? And this is called C6. One, two, three, four, five, six. So C6. And then if we go to the seventh note of the C major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, open B. Well, that's, uh, that's easy to do. I just need to lift my index finger. Very nice. This is called C major seven. Cool voicing, cool chord. And uh, well, after that, you go back to one. And, um, but let's keep going. One, two, D. Okay, I can play that D with my pinky. That's another cool chord. This is called C edit ninth. And then up to the one, two, three, to the third note. Well, that's already in the C chord, nothing new. And one, two, three, four, this is an F. So I can bar my index there. OK, 
okay, something like that. You see that? And and then we go up to five. One, two, three, four, five. I can use my pinky to do that again. And that's another C chord actually. Because the G note is part of the C major triad. So there is no way to label that just like that. That's a C chord. This is a C chord as well. Okay. Um, so now a good exercise you wanna you might do is this. You play the scale like and you hold the chord. a good exercise for the right hand too but let's put that in action and for example let's play a little bit uh, let's play around with the notes of the C major scale on the fourth string okay so I have three notes there the second note the third and the fourth and if I mix them I can do something I can play something like this third, the second, the fourth, and that's nice. Or I can play something using the notes of the C major scale on the second string. Again I have three options there. I have the C note, the open B, that's the seventh note and the ninth or second note. Those three notes. And let's combine them. Maybe. And that's already, it's almost like an intro or like a song, isn't it? And let's say that you want to apply that little tiny melody and to a simple chord progression in the key of C a, a, something like C A minor G F okay and we apply those da, 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 to all of the chords something like my right hand is is thinking about that second string and if you notice I was not even playing striking the first string because I want to stress that little melody so that's a good exercise for the right hand as well okay so I think that's all for today and if you enjoyed the video give this video a like and um, leave a comment and if you are looking for more material, instructional material, you can go to my website www.robertodallavecchia.com or you can go to my instructional channel on TrueFire, it's called Flat Picking Experience and, and I'm adding new lessons, new video lessons every single month um, and again you will find everything uh, in the link below uh, just in the description and uh, that's all I will see you next week bye bye ciao ciao